Hello everyone, this is Donna of Premier Donna Crafts and today I would like to share with you my latest mini album which is um, uh, Bind It All Cardstock Mini. Um, it's made from the timeless um, designer paper by Prima Marketing and um, unfortunately I bought two stacks of this um, lovely um, antique looking, vintage looking um, card um, designer paper so I've got um, quite a bit of it left and you'll be seeing more mini albums from this lovely designer paper set. So um, this is as, as I mentioned is a cardstock mini album and um, I have used the bind it all here um, used um, one of these ribbons what are they called burlap ribbon and then I've um, hung um, Lots of charms, very pretty, all made, um, put together by myself. Um, and then I've got a, a lock, um, one of these keyhole charms. I'm not sure from which company it is. So, um, really pretty. A um, lot of charms hanging from the metal rings. So in the front, I've um, die cut the label, stamped um, with a stamp here. I didn't use the full um, set, stamp set. Um, I just wanted to continue. It didn't fit the um, the space there. Then I've got um, uh, the Eiffel Tower here, also um, an embellishment and then lots of flowers and swirls and then I've used also um, another collection. Um, these words are from another collection, I just forget now what it is. So when you open up, it looks like this. I've made a pocket here uh, and it's trimmed um, with some lace and then more of that stamped image here and um, swirl and flowers, you'll be seeing quite a lot of these flowers um, as embellishments because these flowers uh, don't make the mini album so thick. This mini album is really thick as well. So here you see a tag. I've just dropped the name of this um, paper collection, it's lovely. Um, and then I've made a pocket. This design is my own. So in each uh, signature, there's a pocket like this. And um, it holds one of these uh, tags by Julie Nutting. It's plain, so you can just do your own journaling or add a very small photo there. Made another tag. And this is the stamp with the whole quotation. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. Lovely quotation. And the back looks like that. So in each signature, you've got this tag in front and then you can slip other tags inside, um, underneath the tag. And then there's also space for a nice photo if you want to add a photo there. And then of course, some flowers and then some sentiments. Next page, made these banners um, sort of cascading down on the side with some of these washi tape and then a bit of uh, paper cut embellishments and then the flower and leaves by different stem um, sets and companies. And here too, um, I've made a pocket and this is an aperture oh, uh, die cut. And then added some sentiments, flowers, washi tape and stuck a, a tag and I believe this is from uh, Prima as well. So again lots of space for adding lovely photos and um, adding your bits and pieces of memorabilia. Another spread here with a pocket and a tag. The, the tags are very big, so you can have the larger photos, you know, where these pockets are. And then even here, you know, you can add a quite a nice uh, piece of uh, photograph. 
and then of course you've got the um, sentiments. So likewise here, a pocket holding a tag and then um, I've just added these um, lovely um, tags and it's from Prima Marketing. Lovely colours and I've distressed it a bit to go in with the um, paper collection and then I've added you know quite a lot of sentiments all around just to jazz it up. Here again quite a nice spread spot for uh, two nice photos and then a bit of decoration and um, love the colours and the effect of the small bits and pieces. So another pocket with some tags and uh, I've tried to vary the sizes of the tags a bit and then again I've used the Prima marketing tags as well quite extensively and it's double sided so it's really good. Um, you can add good size photographs here I believe it's about the four by six photographs should fit in nicely there. And space here again for another smaller photograph. Likewise there, very nice photograph can be put there without any problems. Next page, love the spread, lovely colors and uh, very romantic. Another tag. And then I've also used the Tim Holtz die for this. Oh, just realized that I, um, well, I can sort it out. So this is a Tim Holtz tag. I thought I'd removed all the, the tags before I uh, punched the holes, but obviously I forgot about this page. Anyway, moving on, the same idea here. Love the cascading um, flowers and leaves. And then I added a um, a flower there with um, a pearl and then added some ribbon to the tag there and another Prima tag. So very pleasing colours and the colour continues the same colour scheme and then I've added some small flowers for embellishment there and added a sentiment doing my very best and here the pocket is on this side. Um, then I made a smaller pocket in front with some die cuts, you know, with a stamp uh, motive. And then I did a flower and then a sentiment and added a few tags inside. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of room for a lot of uh, journaling spots here. Added another journaling spot here and then another Prima tag, distressed and everything fits nicely into this lovely pocket which has got some lace trimmings. Here again quite plain but still pretty. Added a bit of cutouts so, or stamped um, die cut um, pieces and then added a photo mat and then one of Tim Holt's um, uh, tag and also this die is by Tim Holt's and then uh, with um, a butterfly and here's another pocket page same idea with lots of tags and uh, another Tim Holt's uh, die was used for this piece here and then the Eiffel Tower, Tower again. Very nice, uh, pretty and romantic. And this page, quite simple. Um, added this photo mat, also from Prima. Die cut all these bits here and put it together. And then with some washi tape on both pages to coordinate. And then this is the pocket page with a tag inside. And here, a sentiment for the record. Tim Holtz. Um, tag and then flower and then one of these die cut pieces as well. Last page, 
The pocket is here with the tag inside and some Prima um, tags and this is cut from the Tim Holtz die. And that's the last page. So this is a very thick mini album and um, it will hold a lot of memories. So thank you for watching and I'll speak to you again with my next project. Bye for now.